Hi friends, this is the part 2 of the solution of the hacker machine learning challenge. In this part, we will discuss about the algorithm we have used in the problem and also how to know which algorithm is the best fit for this solution. So, in this problem, I have used gradient boosting algorithm or GBM. If you want to more, learn more about boosting trees and where to learn about gradient boosting trees, there is a very nice blog in analytics with your complete machine learning guide to parameter tuning in gradient boosting in python there will get a very nice and precise description about boosting trees by shudalai rajkumar you know a cattle grandmaster follow this page follow this blog and here you'll get a detailed how gradient boosting works how the boosting trees has been formed and also each and every parameters like mean sample split and the minimum samples you need to split on a particular node mean sample slip means number of minimum leaves in the tree max depth means the maximum depth of the tree you may want to go and today i will discuss in this problem how i set these parameters and how to choose the best range of parameters for a machine learning problem you you need to know that in many problems especially in kaggle problems classification based problems gradient boosting algorithm is a widely used algorithm because it is very accurate okay okay so let's define our target variable and the other independent variables please if you not follow the first part of this video first go through that see the preprocessing part and then come to this part because it is very tough to get into this first time so first follow the sequence i have made In first lecture, we have told that we need to drop some of the features which are not relevant to predict the severity. So now I am dropping all the columns which are not relevant. Okay. And let's find a target. Let's see. As you can see, in our independent features, we have safety score, DSC inspection, control metric, and accident type code. We are choosing the first four of the features to build the model as to reduce the dimension and also to reduce overfitting. So, if you don't know about overfitting, let's tell a brief introduction about overfitting. So, overfitting means when your data set is very trained with the pattern. Of the data set means if you're providing a data set and you're building a model your model is completely dependent upon the pattern of your own data set if your model if you fit the model in some different data sets it may degrade the result so this is called overfitting when your model is gets too familiar with the data to reduce the overfit you need to choose a set of your features to train your model and to fit the model into some other data set to reduce overfitting so that's why i'm also choosing only four of all the column to reduce dimensionality and also to reduce overfitting okay so let's see the shape of the wave of the data frame yeah okay so as you can see our target column which is y y okay these are string values okay these are categorical so we need to level encode it okay so you know from cycle and preprocessing package we import level encoder from Okay, what is the problem here? Okay. 
that is security. Understand what is the problem here, okay? Yeah, I understand what is the problem. As you can see, this is not a, this is not a data frame. That's why it's getting a problem. I hope so. Yeah, it may. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as you can see, these are label encoded values. Okay. It's so like minor damage and injuries level encoded is one minor uh, significant damage and fatality is two these are level encoded you need not to do one hot input in this case because gradient boosting algorithm handles it automatically so you need not to think about it okay so the main thing is to know what will be the best range of hyperparameters you need to choose for the gradient boosting algorithm okay gradient So let's import it. The block I have shared with you is very good. You can learn details about ensemble learning, gradient boosting trees, and also you can follow towards data science for more resources. I will surely give an article on this topic into towards into medium. You can follow it. Let's create the object. okay let's create a parameter grid so what is parameter grid here we can define the range of parameters we want to search okay like uh, learning rate learning rate means how fast your slope comes to the global minima okay you need to find the global minima and how fast you reach to the global minima that depends upon learning rate so it's a very crucial parameter in this case okay max depth so max depth means the depth of the tree the more depth of the tree the more uh, intuition it could get from your data but all time it doesn't stay but you need to remember it the more max depth you give your model get a better intuition about it okay mean sample split it it is also a very important parameter to train gbm it defines the minimum number of samples it needs to a particular node to split a random split always remember for each and every model you build in a machine learning competition you need to fix the random state for every case because if you change the random if you don't give the random state by default it is said to be none so your model gives different results when you run different times so always fix the random state it is a very important parameter and for gradient boosting algorithm implementation learning rate max depth and mean sample split are three very crucial parameters okay now let's implement uh, CV means grid search cross validation. Okay, grid search cross validation is used to know the range of parameters, hyperparameters for your model. Okay, importing is done. Now let's call it CV for gradient boosting. There are several few parameters in the grid search the estimator you need to pass the object of the gradient boosting okay you need to pass the dictionaries of parameters okay you need to pass the number of cross value folds normally we have used three five and ten okay three five so in this case we have used five and parvas parvas means how much you want to know about the model when it is running so much description you want to know that means for purpose and n jobs means it will use all the four ports of your processor okay and print the best fit parameters okay f it will take some time obviously but for your purpose always you need to try all the things GB.
Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's right. Uh, what is here? Select syntax. Okay. What is the error here? Let's do one thing. Let's run it. Param grid is not defined. Sorry, we have a typo error. Best params. Okay. Now let's fit the grid search in our data. It will take some time because we have total 60 fits, okay? And for each fold, we will get what is the time taking and we will at the last we will get the best parameters. What is the best learning rate, max step, mid sample speed, random step, okay? So, okay, let's keep it running. Now let's import from so in the parameters of gradient boosting classifier, you need to pass. The best parameters you should get from it okay so let's complete all the tasks Yeah, almost completed. Yeah. So let's see the best parameters. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, the learning rate is com coming to be 0.5, max depth 7, mean sample split 5, and random state 0. These are the best fit, best parameter you should use for the gradient boosting classifier. So I will just pass these parameters to it. And also there is an important parameter that is called N estimators. I will set it to 1250. Two, you may also tune it if you want. Okay, I have tuned several times and I got 1250 is the best. It will take very long time if I want to see it here. So, if you want to tune it, you should pass this parameter into the parameter dictionary. So let's input the plus file score. And if we fit this gradient boosting classifier into a data set dot fit, it will take some time. And let's find out the train accuracy. As you know, in the competition, the judgment criteria was the F1 weighted score. So we pass here as a scoring parameter F1 weighted. Okay. 
and we'll print this what is error sorry close pass four okay so okay. in my case I want to say that I have run this read CV around uh, thousand bits okay in the cloud so then you could get a better more best parameters better parameters than this also okay so in my case it was coming to be in estimators is 1250 random state max depth in my case it was coming to be six okay and mean sample in learning rate is coming to be 0.2 so these are the best parameters when I die and I get uh, in thousand fits the more you run the fits the more better range the more degree you can give and you could get different values so if I do the same thing now so let's see what accuracy it comes Yeah, it may be different sometime in my case it was coming to be hard so thus you should know the range of parameters and you always should know that gradient boosting algorithm always works better than many of the other like random forest decision tree so if you like the tutorial please give like and please subscribe to my channel to more hackathon solution videos because i pre i'm pretty much engaged with several hackathons in hackathon tech geek and if you want the deep learning challenge that recently ended in the hackathon computer vision deep learning auto tagging of images color please let me know in the comment section and please like the video thank you